What's up, Mill? Live from my chalkboard once again. Got some announcements. If you're newish, we invite you to do two things. Number one, fill out the first timer card on the back of the millet. Just rip it off, fill it out, bring it to the welcome table. They'll give you a CD, a free gift just for saying thanks, thanks for Tyler. coming. Also, if you're newish around the mill, we invite you to something called the Mill Shindig, happening right after the mill tonight. Don't go anywhere else, go directly to Tag Chapel. That's the room just right on the other side of the hallway from where you are now. It's called Shindig. You get to meet the staff, learn about small groups, learn about other things going around in the mill. So don't miss the Mill Shindig if you're newish. Your second announcement is the Mill Sunday School, about the sweetest thing in the world, happening every Sunday morning. Why don't you come to the World Prayer Center Chapel at 945 in the Sunday AM. Get yourself an absolutely free breakfast and learn this month all about church and state and politics and how we as Christians should be involved in politics. By the way, an election's coming up. No big deal. Your third announcement is water baptisms. We're gonna be doing water baptisms here at the mill in three weeks, October 24th. Have you ever been water baptized? Would you like to get water baptized? If so, there's a sign up sheet at the information table. Mill, this is one of your last opportunities to sign up for the mill fall retreat. You can sign up the day of as we're leaving, but I don't suggest that. I suggest signing up tonight. Pick one of the weekends and sign up for the Mill Fall Retreat. It is the event of the year. You don't want to miss the Fall Retreat because you'll get back and, and everybody will be like, dude, you go to the Fall Retreat? And you'll be like, no, I didn't go. And they'll be like, dude, you're so silly. Why didn't you go? You should definitely go to the Mill Fall Retreat. In fact, let's go ask Aaron Stern about the Mill Fall Retreat. Pause. Here live with Aaron Stern. Hey everybody, I know that Fall Retreat is coming up. This year, we're talking about what it means to pause, to actually stop. We have so many things going on in our lives, so many demands, school, work, so many different ways to connect and interact and communicate with people. And it's so important for us to be able to create a space where there's not so many things pulling on us, except for us connecting with God. So I know that we talk in fall about Fall Retreat, about being so fun and connecting with people and the location is amazing and all those things are true, but I can promise you this, Fall Retreat really is going to be a powerful opportunity for you to connect with God. And so, don't let anything get in your way, register today, pick a weekend or go to both and I will see you there. Go to both, I'm going to both. Check out this video that we've made called Worship MVP. Peace out. Gentlemen, and welcome to the mill. I'm Brian Gumbel. And I'm Bob Costas. You know, Bob, tonight's a really big night for the mill. You're right, it is a big night for the mill. You know, there's a lot of preparation that goes on in putting on the mill. Yeah, and what you'd love to see is all the major players getting on their A game. Why don't we take a look at the starting lineups? Josh Harvey, rhythm guitar, stage right. Glenn Packing, worship pastor, Malaysia. What? Aaron Stern, pastor. The Oral Roberts University. John Christ, Mill Worshipper, Home School. John Chris, the MVP of the first half. John, what did you think about your performance? 
You know, I mean, you got to give it up to Glenn and the guys. You know, I mean, they come out every week and, you know, play like they play. You know, I mean, they, they're good, no doubt. I mean, it's hard for me to keep up and worship sometimes, but, you know, I mean, Chad tips on those guitar solos and, uh, you know, Becca Ham. I mean, she, she just gets notes I can't get, you know, but, uh, I mean, it's a marathon, not a sprint. So, I mean, I get out there, you know, I do the best. I think just, I think the key is hydration, you know, I mean, it's, it's a marathon, not a sprint. So, you know, I stay hydrated and I keep it in to go through the whole, go through the whole service. Looking at some stats here, 67 consecutive jumps. You had your hands raised the whole time for a minute and a half. That is a mill record. Yeah, I know. I think the jumps, I mean, it's, it's just credit to a lot of uh, work in the weight room, I mean, in the offseason. But uh, again, give a lot of credit to Glenn. I mean, he's going to push you to the max. A lot of times he does those, uh, he does the choruses back to back sometimes, so it sustains. So it's hard for me to jump for that whole time. But, you know, I mean, I persevere and, you know, I put it through. But uh, lots of times in the raising hands, that's the most difficult part for me because. I like to raise my hands out instead of up, so it puts a lot of pressure on the triceps, which really stresses me out. But you know, I'm gonna get back in the weight room. I come back again strong next week. How are you so good week in and week out? Well, you know, I mean, I think uh, the performance just comes from preparation. You know, I had a good week of uh, solid week of devotions, so I mean, that really put me in the right mindset. And you know, I was able to stay out of trouble this week, which uh, really got me uh, coming in with a clear conscience. But uh, you know, sometimes I just spend the first three songs just apologizing for stuff, so I can never really get off. You know, fourth fourth song, I'm really starting to get into it. But I really came, started off strong. But, you know, I'm going to head to the locker room. I know Aaron Stern's getting ready for his message. Uh, he's sitting down there courtside, probably sipping his Nalgene, looking over his stuff. But, uh, like I said, I'm going to head to the locker room and uh, stretch out my fingers and uh, get ready to take some good notes. All right, thanks, John. Good luck. Back to you guys. Thanks a lot, Veronica. Man, that guy sure is good, isn't he, Bob? He absolutely was, Brian. Well, that wraps up our halftime report. Now it's to Aaron Stern for the second half of the game. I'm Brian Gumbel. This is Bob Costas. Have a great night.